welcome to my little prop shop in my storage area. Okay, what I did was I started off with uh, this late 90s video game called Tank Assault. Took it apart, two separate pieces, then I uh, made a, a mold of it, and then from that mold I made plaster molds. Okay, and then I had to uh, modify them a little bit, dig them out, change them around just a little bit. Um, and I changed them a lot more after I worked on them. So I put them in the vacuum machine, and then I'll show you a little video, a uh, short little uh, section of me using the vacuum form. Let's go. Look. Now, after they come out of the vacuum form, they have to be uh, trimmed out. They come up in a big sheet still. And uh, so they, we have to trim them down and then try to make them fit together. Now, to make vacuum form two pieces to fit together is not an easy task. Um, so there's quite a bit of trimming and whatnot you have to do, gluing and sanding. And then after you put them together, I don't have any like partially made, but here's the first one we made. Um, I sold this on eBay, so I gotta ship this out pretty soon. Um, we used some very things terms here. Um, of course, when you look through them, if they're nothing, they're just a prop. Um, I added uh, some various pieces I found to them to make them look. I know they're not screen accurate as the ones used in the movie, but they do look excellent with the Stormtrooper out armor. See how they look there. Now this one's pretty heavily weathered. Um, I had some people ask if they would wouldn't be so weathered because they want to do it themselves. Maybe they didn't like the way I did it, or maybe they want something else. So this is the second one I made. This one I'll probably be selling pretty soon. I modified it a little bit. This one's a, actually a bigger unit, as you can see. This one's a little bit bigger, and I didn't like. The, the frame here, so I trim this one down. If you look at the profile. Look at the profile. This one sticks out. This was more like the original game. So I trim this down. And uh, on this one, actually, I made glass uh, eye pieces out of some acrylic resin. And same thing. Though, if you look through them, they don't see through. They're, it's just a dummy prop. And this time too, I used a yellow lens. But when I glued it on there, it got kind of a uh, swirly, foggy in there. Something to do with the super glue, or I'm not exactly sure why I did that, but live and learn. So I'd like to also add a leather strap to this one, too. So there you have it. And uh, I'll be making more and more and more of these, and they'll probably be getting better and better and better, I hope. Uh, I do want to add a few more items to the inside of this. And I don't think I'm going to weather it any more than it is and let the person, whoever gets it, let them weather it however they like. And I hope you enjoyed my little uh, prop shops of the Stormtroopers Electro Binoculars. Thank you.